Okie doke, friends. My turn to give you a little bit of a look at some of the statistics you will want to know to be successful in the last couple of years of high school. Statistics. Uh, in this particular screencast, we're going to talk mostly about mean, median, mode, your, your measures of central tendency. Your measures of central tendency. That is, given a large set of data, what do we think the middle numbers tend to be? And there are three. There is the mean, there is the median, and there is the mode. Uh, the mode is the data point with the highest frequency. It is the one that occurs most often. And that's the one that everybody remembers from school growing up, that the mode is the, the number in the data list that occurs more often than any of the others. Uh, the median. The median is the number that's in the middle of an ordered list. So if the list is in order, then the median is the middle number. Uh, if there are two numbers in the middle, then the median is the mean, the mean of those. The mean is what we think of as the average. It's the sum divided by the number of numbers. That's what we mean when we say mean. Excellent. So uh, I've got a set of data, 3, 5, 7, 12, 23, looking for mean, median, mode. And some of those things are easier to answer than others of those. Um, there is no mode. And there is no mode because, guess what? No number appears more frequently than the others. To find the median, we line up all the numbers, firing squad style, and then we knock out first and last, and then first and last of what's left, and then what's left is 7. And then to find the mean, to find the mean, that's 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 12 plus 23 over 5. So that's, what's that? That's 30, 42, 47, 50 over 5, and that's 10. Sounds fair. 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4. Now I've got an even number of numbers. Looking for mean, median, mode. Well, in this case, the mode is fairly straightforward. Which number appears more often than the others? Correct. The median. Knock out the first and last. Knock out the first and last of what's left. Knock out the first and last of what's that. Now we've got two numbers in the middle. We look for the number that's right in between 2 and 2. Surprisingly, that's 2. As for the mean, we had 1 and 1 and 2 and 2 and 2 and 3 and 3 and 4 and divide that by 8. So now I've got to add, and that appears to be 18 over 8, and that's 9 fourths, that's 2.25. Seem reasonable? 2.25 is a reasonable mean because the median and the mode are about that big. Okay? Okay. Things that you should know how to do. Let's imagine there are seven boys, and those boys have heights of 1.67, 1.56, 1.70, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 1.75, 
it is the difference between, whoa, beats, no, it's the difference between the highest and the lowest numbers in the list. Uh, it is literally the max minus the min. So you can find the mean and the median and the range. Uh, and then as a curious bonus question, I want the mean when the tallest and the shortest of the boys leave. So if the tallest boy and the shortest boy say, we're out of here, I can't stand this, then I want the mean of the boys who are left. Hey, speaking of mean, median, mode, range, that sort of thing, let's imagine that there are four numbers, uh, A, B, C, and D, and A is less than B is less than C, which is equal to D. So there are four numbers. Uh, the two biggest are the same, and there are two smaller numbers. Let's pretend that their mean is 8, and their mode is 10, and their range is 7. I want to know what each of them are. This would be the kind of question that you should be able to work out on any kind of basic stats exam. The other thing that, that stats teachers will try to do when they're talking about mean, median, mode, measures of central tendency, is they'll say, hey, hey I've got these five girls over here and the five girls are an average of 68 inches tall uh, on average and there are five of them and then I've got some boys over here and the boys on average are 70 inches tall on average and there are three of them well, let's put everybody together, all eight people together. Let's imagine that we put all eight people together. On average, what is the mean height of all the people? So how do I take the average of things that are already averaged? Well, the beautiful thing about an average is that if we say that the five girls average 68 inches, we can just assume that all five girls are 68 inches tall. And if I want to add up all of their heights, I just add up 68 and 68 and 65 times. And I can also just figure that the three boys are all 70 inches. Now, they may not be 70 inches, but I can assume that each boy is 70 inches for the purpose of argument. I mean, maybe the boys are 69, 70, and 71. It doesn't matter. That sum is the same as the sum of 70, 70, and 70. And then I divide by 8. And whatever my calculator tells me that is, is in fact it. So that's, oh my goodness, 340 and 210 is 550 divided by 8 whatever that is, that's 68 point, now that I did it, I got to finish off 75. Sound reasonable? That is a reasonable height. We expect, if there were just as many girls as boys, we would expect a mean height of 69 inches. But there are more girls than boys, so we would expect the mean of the whole population, well, the, of the eight students, to be closer to the 68 than to the 70. Okay, well that makes sense. A couple of things you should know how to do. You should know, practicing here, uh, the mean length of six tables is 124.4 centimeters. The mean length of five of the six tables is 115 centimeters. I want to know how long the sixth table is. 
So if I have six tables and I find their mean length, that length is 124.4 centimeters. And then if I sell off the sixth table, the mean of what remains is 115 centimeters. So I want to know what that sixth table is. And you should think before you do this, is that sixth table longer than 115 centimeters? Is that sixth table longer than 124 centimeters? Things you ought to think about. What kind of number do you think you should get so that you can get a reasonable answer? Uh, the other thing to think about, uh, from January to August, the mean number of car accidents per month in a particular land was 880. 880 car accidents in a particular land per month. From September to December, the mean number of car accidents per month was 1,020. So for the whole year, what is the average number of car accidents per month? So now you have to know your calendar just a little bit. You have to know how many months there are from January to August and then from September to December. This is a fairly easy calculation to do. Okay. Um, we could also talk about cumulative frequency histograms, but I think we won't in this screencast. So there is your mean, median, mode, your measures of central tendency, things that you should enjoy. Excellent. See you soon.